Welcome to Snoozecast, the podcast designed to help you fall asleep. Find us at snoozecast.com and now also on YouTube. If you would like to get an email once a week with upcoming sleep stories and other news, subscribe to the Snooze Letter at snoozecast.com. This episode is brought to you by Lemonade for 150 People. Tonight, we'll read about beverages from the Settlement Cookbook published in 1901. This compendium of recipes and other useful information was intended to support new immigrants raising their families in America. Let's get cozy. Close your eyes. Relax your body into the softness of your bed. Now, take a few deep breaths. Hot drinks. General rules. A beverage is any drink. Water is a beverage and is an essential to life. All beverages contain a large percentage of water, an aid to quench thirst, to introduce water into the system and regulate the temperature, to assist in carrying off waste, to nourish, to stimulate the nervous system and various organs. Freshly boiled water should be used for making hot beverages Freshly drawn water for making cold beverages. Milk. Vessels used for milk must be thoroughly cleansed. They should be first washed in clear, cold water. Fill them with water in which a teaspoon of borax or bicarbonate of soda has been dissolved and let stand one hour. Then scald, wipe thoroughly, and stand in the sun or near the stove to dry. Cover milk with muslin and keep in a cold place. Milk may be sterilized or pasteurized to destroy disease germs. In summer, milk should be sterilized twice a day for babies or young children. Pasteurized milk. Sterilize milk bottles or jars by boiling them 20 minutes in water. Fill sterile bottles or jars nearly full of milk. Cork them with baked cotton. Place on rings in a deep pan and fill with cold water so that the water may be as high outside the jars as the milk is inside. Place the pan over the fire and heat until small bubbles appear around the top of the milk. Remove to the back of the fire and allow the bottle to stand there 15 minutes. Then reduce the temperature as quickly as possible. And when milk is cold, remove the bottles from the water and keep in a cold place. Coffee and tea. Coffee, the seeds of the berry of the coffee tree, are roasted in order to develop their aroma. Coffee contains a stimulating substance called caffeine and tannin. The tannin is an injurious substance found in tea and coffee. Long steeping develops the tannin. T. 
tea is made from the leaves of the tea plant. Tea leaves have to be wilted, rolled, and dried by artificial heat in order to develop their flavor. Green tea is made from freshly picked young leaves, which are prepared quickly. For example, gunpowder, hyson, and Japan. Black tea is made from leaves left in a heap on the ground in order to darken and develop the flavor. Oolong, English breakfast, orange pico, Tea and coffee should never be taken on an empty stomach unless for medicinal purposes. Coffee should be bought in small quantities and kept in airtight cans. Filtered coffee. One cup coffee, finely ground, six cups freshly boiling water. Place coffee in strainer, strainer in coffee pot, and pot over slow fire. Add gradually the boiling water and allow it to filter or drip. Cover between additions of water. If desired stronger, refilter. Serve at once with cut sugar, cream, or scalded milk. Put sugar and cream in cup, then add the hot coffee. Boiled coffee. One heaping teaspoon ground coffee to one cup of freshly boiling water. One cup ground coffee to one quart freshly boiling water. Mix the coffee with a clean eggshell and a little cold water and place in a well-aired coffee pot. Add the freshly boiling water and boil five minutes. Let's stand on back of stove ten minutes. Add one half cup cold water. Note, coffee should be freshly ground and kept in airtight cans. A favorite coffee is two-thirds java and one-third mocha. Chocolate. Half an ounce of bitter chocolate. One cup boiling water. Four tablespoons sugar. Three cups milk. Few grains salt. Scald milk. Melt chocolate in small saucepan over hot water. Add sugar, salt, and gradually boiling water. When smooth, place on range and boil one minute. Add scalded milk, beat, and serve. If the sweet chocolate is used, omit the sugar. Cocoa. One cup milk. Two teaspoons cocoa. One cup boiling water. Two scant teaspoons sugar. Scald the milk. In a saucepan, put the cocoa sugar and boiling water. Boil one minute, then add it to the scalded milk. Taste and add more sugar if needed. Tea. Three teaspoons tea. Two cups boiling water.
scald an earthen or china teapot. Put in tea and pour on boiling water. Let stand on back of range or in a warm place five minutes. Strain and serve immediately, with or without sugar and milk. Russian Tea Russian tea is made and served in the dining or drawing room. The water is kept hot in a samovar and the tea steeped in a teapot. The tea may be served hot or cold, but always without milk. A thin slice of lemon or a few drops of lemon juice is allowed for each cup. Preserved strawberries, cherries, or raspberries are considered an improvement. Punch Imperial One sliced pineapple, grated rind of one lemon, one bottle of champagne or seltzer, four oranges cut into pieces, grated rind of one orange. One bottle of red wine, one stick of cinnamon, broken into pieces, half a bottle of rum, juice of four lemons, one stick of vanilla bean, about four inches long, half a quart of boiling water, one pound of sugar, half a cup of maraschino cherries, if desired. Boil spices thoroughly with water. Remove them and pour water into large earthen dish. Add lemon and orange juice and rind, also pineapple and sugar. Sugar and fruit to be prepared in a separate dish. Then add wine and rum. Cover and heat on back of stove. Add champagne before serving. Cold drinks. Iced tea. Strain freshly made tea into glasses one third full of cracked ice. A slice of lemon may be added. Seeds removed. The flavor is much finer by chilling the infusion quickly. Lemonade. One lemon. Two cups water. Four tablespoons sugar. Extract the juice of one lemon with a lemon squeezer. Add the sugar and water and stir till dissolved. Add chipped ice if desired. The water may be poured over the sugar boiling hot, in which case cover and allow to stand until cool and then add the lemon juice. Lemonade for 150 people. Five dozen lemons squeezed. Six pounds sugar. One dozen oranges sliced. Six gallons water. One can or a fresh pineapple. Ice. The rule is one pound of sugar to every dozen of fruit. If pineapple is fresh, add one more pound of sugar. 
Mix sugar with fruit and juice, and let stand. When ready to serve, add water and ice to keep cool. The sugar and some water may be boiled to a syrup, allowed to cool, and the fruit and juices added afterward. Orange Aid Follow the same rule as for lemonade, adding a little lemon juice. Pineapple Punch One quart cold water Half cup lemon juice Two cups sugar Two cups chopped pineapple One cup orange juice Boil water and sugar and pineapple 20 minutes. Add fruit juice. Cool, strain, and dilute with ice water. Fruit punch for 50 people. One cup water, juice of five lemons, two cups sugar, juice of five oranges, one cup tea infusion, one can grated pineapple, one quart mineral water, one cup maraschino cherries, two cups strawberry syrup. Boil water and sugar to a syrup. Ten minutes. Add tea, strawberry syrup, lemon juice, orange juice, and pineapple. Let stand half an hour. Strain and add ice water to make half gallons of liquid. Add cherries and mineral water. Serve in punch bowl with large pieces of ice. Grape Punch One fourth cup grape juice Three fourth cup cold water One teaspoon lemon juice Sugar to taste Mix sugar with strained grape juice Add lemon juice and water A slice of orange or pineapple may also be added. Strawberry Punch Two quarts strawberries Ice water Two pounds sugar One cup champagne Two oranges Two whites of eggs one lemon, ice. Crush the berries with the sugar. Let stand two hours. Strain through a bag. Add orange and the juice of the lemon and let stand on ice until wanted. Then add an equal measure of ice water the champagne and whites of egg beaten stiff. Place in punch bowl with large piece of ice and serve in tall glasses. Ginger punch. One quart cold water. Half pound Canton ginger. One cup sugar, half cup orange juice, half cup lemon juice, chopped ice. Chop ginger, add to water and sugar and boil 15 minutes. Add orange and lemon juice. Cool, strain, and add chopped ice. 
to dilute. Washington Punch for 12 people. One pint pineapple sliced. One bottle claret wine. One cup sugar. One pint pineapple sliced fine. Half bottle Moselle wine. One quart Champagne. Two bottles. Rhine wine. Large piece of ice. Sprinkle the sugar over the pineapple. Add the half bottle Moselle and let stand 24 hours. Strain. Add the rest of the Rhine and the Claret wine and the other half-sliced pineapple. Place on ice. Just before serving, add the champagne and serve from a punch bowl with a large piece of ice. Champagne punch for 12 people. Three pints champagne. Half cup maraschino cherries. Quarter pint maraschino. Two lemons. Half pint imported brandy. Two oranges. Quarter pound loaf sugar. Pineapple slices. Ice. Dissolve the sugar in a little water. Slice oranges and lemons and mix all except champagne and cherries. Place in punch bowl with a large piece of ice and add the cherries and the champagne. Serve in glasses. Mint julep. One teaspoon sugar. One cup shaved ice. One teaspoon water. Quarter cup brandy or whiskey. Four sprigs mint. One teaspoon maraschino. Dissolve sugar, water, and liquors. Press the mint in to extract the flavor. Stir well. Then withdraw the mint and add the fine ice. Replace the mint, stems down, leaves above. Trim with fruits and season and serve in a large thin glass with a straw. Orange julep. Rind half orange shaved fine. Two sprigs fresh mint. One tablespoon powder sugar. One teaspoon creme de menthe. One cup chopped ice. Quarter cup whiskey. Mix orange rind, sugar, and a little of the ice for two minutes to extract the oil. Add rest of ice. The fresh mint stems down, leaves above, and the rest of the ingredients. Serve in a large glass with a straw. Gin fizz. Half tablespoon sugar. Quarter cup gin. Half lemon juice. 
half cup fine ice, half cup seltzer water. Mix sugar, gin, and lemon juice. Add the ice, stir well, strain in a tall seltzer glass, and fill with seltzer water. Serve at once. Egg milk punch. One egg. Two tablespoons rum. Three teaspoons sugar. Third cup milk. Half cup shaved ice. A grating of nutmeg. Quarter cup brandy. Mix in the order given. Cover tightly. Shake well. And strain into large, tall glass with the nutmeg on top. Manhattan Cocktail Third Whiskey Third Vermouth Bitters Fine Ice Third Water A dash of bitters and a slice of lemon peel. Stir well and serve in cocktail glasses. Sweeten to taste. Jackson Cocktail Two thirds glass grapefruit juice. One tablespoonful maraschino. Third glass sherry. One cherry. Have all at the very point of freezing. Laying the table. General directions. Cover the table with a silence cloth of felting or canton flannel. Over this, spread a spotless tablecloth evenly, the middle crease dividing the table exactly in half. Position of host and hostess. Position of the host at the head of the table near entrance door. Hostess at the foot of the table opposite. Placing knives, forks, and spoons. Place the knife or knives at the right of each place, the sharp edge toward the plate the fork or forks next tines up one inch from the edge, being careful to have the spacing the same at every place. Soup spoons over the plate, handles to the right, teaspoons to the left of forks, bowls up. Place silver in the order in which it is to be used, counting from the outside toward the plate. Placing of glasses. Place the water glass at right of plate, at end of knife blade. Placing napkins, pepper, salt. Place napkins at left of plate. Pepper and salt near corners or one of each between the places for two people. Sideboard and side table 
object to hold all extras that may be needed during a meal waiting on table. The table should look as neat and attractive as possible. Place everything straight upon the table. Turn no dishes upside down. Always heat the dishes in which warm food is served. Never fill the glasses and cups more than three quarters full. When passing a plate, hold it so that the thumb will not rest on the upper surface. When refilling the glasses, take hold of them near the bottom and draw them to the edge of the table. Then remove them from the table. A waiter passes food to the left side of each person, except beverages, which should be placed at the right. In placing a dish in front of a person, the waiter should stand at the right. Food and dishes are removed from the right. In passing dishes from which a person is to help himself to a portion, pass it always from the left side so that it may be taken with the right hand. In passing individual dishes from which the person does not help himself, such as coffee, etc., set it down slowly and easily from the right hand side. When the dishes are being served by a person at the table, stand at the left of that person. Hold your tray low and near the table and take on the tray one plate at a time and place it before the person for whom it is intended, setting it down from the right side.